James Arnold, it's not worth getting yourself knocked yeah. out about. There were 104,000 people there and two blokes didn't know it was a draw. Did anyone tell you blokes the game was over? Oh, I didn't know it was over. Peter. Gary, uh, Gary Cowden came up and said, uh, it's all over, Craig, we've got to come back next week. And I looked up the scoreboard and that stupid Arnold Bryce kicked seven points and we had six more scoring shots. Oh. I thought they might give it to us. But we oh, had to come back. How did you guys prepare for the next week? Well, I know ourselves, you know, it was it was hard because Tommy just ran us into the ground. He really did. We trained so hard, it was hot, and we uh, we just worked. Why would he do that? Well, that's Tommy. That's Tommy as a, as a coach and as a person. And he just believes in, in doing that same thing, doing just repeating itself, you know? Uh, and I believe, Peter, you guys did very little. Well, Ron just said, uh, you're great pros, you come from everywhere, you know how to handle yourself, boys. Actually, yeah, he did train us reasonably hard, but we'd come through a hard campaign. We'd been playing a lot of football. We'd, we started against Orvon five weeks ago, and there was a lot of our blokes carrying injuries and uh, called uh, the pink lady we were playing on, and, uh, and there was a few blokes that, uh, if they'd swabbed us, we would have come back positive, but... Uh, what was the pink lady? A little bit of morphine and aspro just to get you going, <laughs> but, uh, and keep you feeling all right. And are you but, still on it, Crackers? No, I'm got, not still on it, you've, but... Uh, you've gone into rehab, have you? Yes, well, no, we were happy after the game. Brass just called us in. Lighty wasn't there, he'd gone. But he came back the next week. Yeah, he won the replay. It was another epic game, epic grand final. Yeah. And I but Lighty played well in the replay. He did. Yeah, it was all right. Brass never had any doubts we'd win, uh, we, that we'd was get beaten. It, was it Collie Wobbles or coincidence? Oh, look, I don't think it was Collie, wo Collie Wobbles. I, I just think that we'd, we'd been through the hard campaign. We had our opportunities the week before. And I don't think we were mentally and physically where we should have been the following week. Uh, and, and, you know, everyone blames the fact that we trained so hard in that following week leading up to the next grand final. And, and maybe, in retrospect, we did. That was Tommy's way of doing things. And I mean, you, you couldn't have been more stiff, could you? Because the next year you got done by them in the preliminary final. Yeah, yeah. The year after that, you got done by five points in the grand final. You got done in 80, 81. Scarting for life. Well, Look at you, him. you did play in six grand finals for mm. six defeats. I mean, what sort of effect has that had on you? Look, well, under choker in the dictionary, his oh, photo's there. No, has it been a tough... You know, I was so fortunate to be able to be in that position to play in so many grand finals. And, and a lot of things would have been very different, possibly, yeah. if we had won those grand finals. Not only for myself personally, but also Tissue. for the Collingwood Football Club. And, and not only be the greatest club, but even you know, a greater club again to be, to be uh, so unlucky to be so close but so far and uh, you know, I played with some great players and... Uh, a reunion's yeah. hard, like you had your 30 year reunion. Yeah, this year was good. A good grip. Yeah, good grip. just walked I mean, around. We just don't have reunions. No. It's very sad, we just don't have reunions because uh, there's nothing to get together and celebrate. So another one eludes the carrying bush. For the first time since 1948 there's a drawn grand final. A brilliant market goal by Tweed Dunn to tie the scores, but keep in mind, the Pies did lead by 27 points at the final change. Speaking of 27 points, that was the margin the following week when North Melbourne won the replay 151 to 124 in front of a crowd in excess of 98,000 spectators. No doubt there'll be another 98,000 or so at the MCG this afternoon. However, if you can't be one of them, stay with us on 